Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is, once again, I'm just showing you the picture of my Black Marsh. I have Waypoint, I have a Shrine, and then I have the tower right here. Not a terrible map. I'd probably like the Waypoint to be a little closer if possible. Obviously, the closer the better. And I would probably want one or two more Shrines, but does not always um, happen, right? So this is not a terrible map. Some things to note, though, sometimes you have maps that are so terrible here, you simply reset the run as soon as you get here. So, like, let's say I have the, this right here, and the waypoint is all the way up here. And it takes me, like, a minute plus just to run that. I might reset that map. And the reason is because I run there over and over and over again. I'm going to be doing many of these um, speed runs, many of these countess runs. So, it is important for me to have a decent uh, time when not coming in here. So... We are now going to discuss the tower. Obviously, you can see we already know where this is right here. What you want in the tower is you want a boss group in every level, right? And you want to kill these boss groups. And I may end up killing a couple more things as well because archers just kind of suck. So I'm going to do this. And I want to kill these boss groups. That is half the reason that I am down here. Half the reason I'm down here is to kill boss groups. The other half of the reason I'm down here is to get runes. So it is a very good mix of both of those. And I want to be leveling up a lot. So I'm, I was level 6 coming in. I want to get here to the end. Um, I probably want to leave here around level 13 as a sorceress. 12 and a half to 13. Something like that. You're good, Octavio. Um, so, important things to note. This right here, once again, is your starting block. And this is a very important concept. I may even pull up a notepad file uh, or a paint file to explain what you want to be looking for with a map like this. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and run this map really quickly. So I'll show you the full map layout. And this is going to be very important. This is something that you do want to note for sure. Um, I don't really care about those guys. I do want to open up these things right here because they have high chances to drop rings and as a sorceress, I like that. Okay, so chipped emerald, that's good for selling. I might get rid of that and I don't really care for this cap, so I'll drop that, not worth a lot. So, now I'm going to take a print screen of this. I'm going to put it in paint. Um, let me crop just to Diablo 2. Okay, crop, and let us share paint really quick. Mm, paint, there we go. Okay, so this right here is our scene, right? This is what we're looking at right here. So the first thing to note is I'm going to use some lines. Where was, where's my line drawer? Shapes, lines. This is our starting block right here. Okay. Actually, I'll just use a pencil. Like this. This block right here is our starting block. This block right here is our end block. So, the important things to note are the starting block is facing this way. And thus, I'm going to say this is straight. This direction is now straight. This direction is left. Okay, so even if this starting block, and we can go look at level 2, and it'll change. So it's whatever the way this starting block is facing, that's how I'm going to say straight. So if I say run to the right, I don't always mean to the right of your screen. I mean to the right of the way that you came in, or the right of the way that your entrance block is. Because you could say, oh, you came in like this. What is straight really? It is the way that your entrance block is facing. So in this case, this is straight. In the tower, left is always going to be the direction to get to your exit. Every single level, it's always going to be left. This is a very important concept for running through the tower. So, you will see down here, you say, wait a second, Mr. Lama, you had to go right, right, and right. That's right. Three rights do make a left in this game. So that is a what you would consider a tricky map, and it's just... You know, it, th this map didn't have any, like, ways that I could move around and kind of get caught and whatever. So, if this went up like this, I would have run up first had I not seen this right here. 
because I would have expected to go up and then to the left, right? I would have expected it to be over here somewhere like that. But instead, it was a very simple map, and so I know I run three rights, and I make this left, and that is that. So we'll go ahead and get rid of paint. We'll go to level two and see um, this. So now, once again, what is straight? Straight is going to be this way, right? There's my arrow. Straight is going to be this way because my entrance block is moving in like this. And so where is it going to be? It's going to be to the left, which as you can see, there it is. It is right on my screen, but that is left of the way that I come in. And this is just a way that we kind of discuss directions uh, and whatnot. So I kill the boss group. And sometimes I'll go explore a little bit. So if I didn't find the boss group in here, I might like check really quickly to see if I see him over there. If I do, I'll go kill him. If I don't, I'll just kind of back off and run to my left. And now this is the way. And once again, we can print screen, we can pop it into the paint. Um, we can crop just to that. And we can turn paint back on. Once again, we have right here, let's get our pencil. This is our starting block. This way is straight. Thus, left of this way is going to be right here. Right? So you go straight and then to the left, and the exit's going to be over to the left. So we will see this pattern continue through. Alt print screen will capture only the active window. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. Um, so once again, straight is going to be this way, so I'm expecting the exit to be right there again. Or in some manner of going that way. I see the boss group right in there. You can also tell because there's kind of light right here. Light means there's either a boss, there's either a boss group or a group of fallens, actually. So archers are kind of more of a pain to kill. Um, so you have to be very careful. As you know, especially multi-shot archers, they do a lot of damage. So a good way to kill archers is to do this right here, where you kind of outrange them. So they'll spend a lot of time walking towards you. And then you can fire from far away onto them. So things you want to, of course, watch out for are things like cold archers and things like that, because that's going to be difficult. So once again, I have found the exit because straight and then this direction is left. Once again, note that this is your exiting block. Level four, straight is now this way, and thus I'm going to be expecting an exit block to be facing this way. Once again, the direction block could be back here behind me. I mean, I know it's not because of how this exists, but it could be like below me. It could go here, down, over, and then back up, and that could be my exit right there, and that would be facing left but it's, either, it's going to be facing this direction a lot of times. It is just going to be um, over there. And I really hope that I get a specific kind of map right here because that's going to be important. I'm going to get telekinesis now. Um, that's just when I like to get it. You can kind of get it whenever you want. But I really hope I have an L shape here. It doesn't look like I do. It's fine. So once again, we have our boss group. Ignore that last thing with the L shape. That's something I'll have to just... Uh, show you guys really quickly after and I'm going to just move through. Oh, I do have it. Awesome. Awesome. So note that I have one boss right here, right? I have my boss. Now note that that is a second boss and you might say, Mr. Llama, how do you have two bosses? I thought there's only one boss per level. Well, there is. Except in this very rare, awesome case. And it's not too rare, but it's rare enough to note. It doesn't happen, you know, on every level. It happens maybe every couple runs you'll find a level like this. This is known as the L shape. That is a llama patented term. And it is going to... Um, ooh, that's actually very nice for a necromancer because that would have two teeth. They use teeth. This is your L shape right here. So the important thing to note about it is it is a L shape without any windows and it's always going to be facing this direction. Let me just kill the remaining stuff down here. Okay, so it goes like this. It's always going to be at the bottom, like, like, I mean, it's going to look exactly like this. It's never going to be like up at the top or at a different right angle. You're always going to have this angle down here. And when you have this right here, there is guaranteed to be that boss every single time. 
So, for instance, we, you know how we saw the uh, demon, the whatever guys you call those? I forget, I forget their name. But these guys, you know how we saw that boss group? They aren't always going to be there. They might be there sometimes, but they don't have to be there. With this L shape, 99% of the time, I am always going to have whatever boss group I just saw down there. So in this case, 99% of the time, I'm going to see that Countess, or the uh, the Archer group right here. Kind of stinks that it's Archers. I wish it was the, yeah, Moon Clans. Hell Clans. There you go. Hell Clans. I wish it was the, uh, you know, like a Hell Clan group or something. But it's not. It's Archers. We just kind of deal with that. But that is going to be very good for me because now that's a guaranteed at least one boss, possibly two bosses on this level. And like I said, I am coming down here because I'm looking for experience and I am looking for levels, right? Uh, or uh, runes. So now we're at level 5. Level 5 sometimes has a boss, sometimes doesn't. If they do, a lot of times it's in these runes or rooms. And I know that there's not one because I don't see a light. Um, so you would generally see a light when you see a boss group, and that'll kind of tip you off. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to kill the Countess. Good things to note is that the Countess will always spawn in the same position, depending which way you come, you enter the tower uh, level 5 room like this. So if I move around, I want to like get it off this light. If I enter here and I come come down this way and through this she is always going to be standing in that middle if I enter and I come up through this way she will be in some other random spot either here here or here she'll be in one of these three rooms and when she's in one of those rooms the countess has kind of a glitch or a bug whatnot where she will not leave the room she'll never go through a door so the countess will always stop before getting to a door her minions will but she will never go through that door so I got that Tau rune that's good I want to find Tau and Ethrune on this character, um, and that and the reason for that is because I want to make stealth, and she doesn't make any other rune words. So we are good at that point uh, with the sorceress. So I would just exit the game, and I'll kind of go through my general routine of moving into a second run. So now I come up here. I'm going to go ahead. I can sell this and rebuy. That's very important. Note that it has 20 scrolls in it now. Anytime you sell anything that has a quantity. So potions, not like these, but like strangling gas potions, exploding potions, um, tomes of town portal, we'll sell that, uh, things like that. You can then rebuy it at a max value from that vendor. So let's say I'm out of town portals, right? And I'm like, crap, I don't want to go all the way to Akara. I can just sell, rebuy, and now I have 20 town portals right here. So that's actually something very good to know. A lot of people don't know that. Um, I would then look over here and I would look for what items I needed. So I want two socket helms. I probably want to have some sort of belt on right now. I'd like a two open socket shield and a two open socket armor. Um, I may get that one, but this one has required 20 strength, required strength 27. I generally only want to go up to 25 strength. So um, I'm going to, you know, if it was later in the run and I wasn't going to be coming back here often, I might buy it, but it's the first time. So I'll probably ignore it and come back later and look for a two open socket armor that is on a lower strength um, armor. So then I'm going to move over to uh, our friend Akara. The order I'm going to go ahead and sell a couple of these so I have a little more gold. I'm going to look for a wand that has 10 faster cast rate on it, such as this. But note this costs 167k. I don't care for that. This is just on a sorceress or a character that needs faster cast rate, right? So on other characters, like a somebody who needs a leaf staff, like a druid or an assassin, I would come over here and I would look for two open socket staffs. And I would just go, two open sockets. Nope, none of them are. I'm good to go. Let me get my potions, right? I shift click to fill my belt. Then I buy a couple more. Um, and I say, all right, I'm good on potions. Everything's good. Let's go ahead and move on. Maybe I'll put some strength in, and I can now telekinesis to here. Now, I want to, of course, be running the Countess, but the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remember, early in our run, we had a shrine at the Cold Plains. Let me check that. It's a skill shrine. Awesome. I'll carry that through. And that's good, because now I have a skill shrine on top of um, everything. Leaf adds to fire skills. Since I'm a sorceress using 
Lightning skills, I don't really care, but an assassin and a druid have fire skills, so they will use it. I can also pop on my uh, helm now at this point. Note, I don't have armor, gloves, boots, any. I don't really care for any of that stuff. Honestly, I could be running this ver this part naked at this point if I really want to. So now, of course, I can see where everything is. Uh, oh, okay, so that was a cursed archer. That is what you have to watch out for, especially if you have um, a experience shrine. That is your like worst nightmare, is running down here and running into a... Uh, archer group with an experience shrine because they will curse it off of you immediately half the time before you even know and then it's too late to have any fun and you're very sad so I will just move through once again opening these things up because I want to find my uh, rings if I have any on this character or uh, if I can and then move forward and once again just looking for additional runes whatnot so just running through, no boss on that level. Here's a boss down here I'm imagining. That's good to see, that's actually a champion group of just two, two archers. I'll go ahead and kill them now, but I'll show you guys why you don't really want to spend too much time killing them. My experience barely moved, right? So if you rewind or whatever and you look, you'll note my experience did not really move at all. So killing two champion archer groups a lot of times isn't even worth the time to like stop and do that. So now we're at this level again, so what we know is we know we're going to have a boss of archers right here. There may be a second boss right here, or somewhere up here, or maybe not. We don't know. It looks like we did get it. So we got the double boss again, which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of back off, send some charged bolts down the path. And, you know, that's very good because that gives me the double... Um, double boss right there which is worth a lot of experience now something we did just find out is this is going to be a cold boss cold enchant so I'm gonna to want to be careful and dodging with cold enchanted archers every single thing that hits you is going to cold you freeze you so you don't want that you don't want that at all so you try to avoid that stuff and you also noted I stayed out of the range of that frost Nova I don't want to get hit by that and slowed down so now once again we're at level 5 um, I see some light in here, so I'm guessing there is a boss group, or like I said, more devilkins right there. Um, and I don't see anything out there. So I can either continue to run this way, and hey look, I found myself another boss group. Awesome. This is actually a pretty decent tower. Some towers, you're just not going to find boss groups. You'll find maybe a couple on your way down, and it stinks. Uh, and so we'll look in here and we'll see that, hey, these guys are in the exact same spot they were because, of course, I came in the exact same way in the level 5. So I'll go ahead and kill here. And look at runes. And perfect. So I actually have all of the runes I need at this point. I would exit, quit. So I now have all of the base runes that I need. I want additional Rao runes, I want additional tier runes for later, but I have the basic runes that I would want at this point to make my stealth. So this is kind of my, every character has like a base, could I move on at this point if anything else happened? And this is that point for the sorceress, yes, I could move on at this point um, because I have my runes for stealth. So I will go ahead and just finish getting this character uh, through. And I will join you guys in the next piece of the game here once I get to my level 12 and a half, 13, whatnot.